They'll be ready to go in 45 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, say best of five sets match. Mr. Labor won the toss, is serving first. Line's been ready. Rod Play. Labor has the balls. He won the toss, he's gonna serve first, and here he goes for the championship of the United States. Tony Roach, Ball. the receiver, two Australians. Oh! Double fall. Double fall. 11-15. Bad start. And love 30 right away. Love 30. Out. Apparently the ball boy behind the court is 15, moving. 30. Moving when Rod was serving. Tony wants him to be quiet. Two double faults. 15-40. Rod Laver. Just remember, bud, Laver's been used to serving into the backhand, his natural serve, and he can't do that with Roach because he hits the big forehand. 30-40. For the first time, the left-handers get to know uh, how awful it is to play another left-hander. Hasting. <laughs> Now Roach yells at a photographer, sit down. The gentleman does immediately. Oh! Tony's a little edgy. Haven't seen him react with nerves before, but this is the biggest thing in his life. Uh, advantage, Mr. Roach. So another break point, an opening, or, opening game ordeal for Rod Laver. Third breaker against him. Court is open. And Labor finds it. Deuce. Advantage, Mr. Labor. Tony Roach. And the winning volley. Labor wins the first From game. 15 40. Labor has won the first game. Rod Laver was a, a little nervous, it seemed to me, in that first game, bud. Two double faults and a, an easy volley air. One must remember that 31 years of age and have been a competing tennis pl player, I guess, from the age of nine. He faces Rose the Sherry. biggest hopeful win of his life. Tony Roach serving for the first time and losing his first serve. Love 15. Try to topspin lob, and it goes all the way to the stadium wall. Gus Lan of the baselinesman dutifully calls out. 15 Easiest ball. call he'll have all day. Let's remind everyone that there's been more rain here at Forest Hills, and the court's very choppy. Laver's got it! Net here. here. Touch the net. Touch the net with his racket. Point was decided. Mr. Roach wins the point. 30-15. The ball was out as well, but that's the rules. You can't touch the net until the ball has bounced at least twice. Forty fifteen.
40-30. Of course, that's the reason why Rod Laver is such an exceptional champion as a left-hander. He's been the first one, really, with power to be able to control a backhand stroke. Oh. Arthur Larson, awfully good backhand. Down the line. Deuce. The receiver, very stubborn in these first two games, both deuce games. Oh. Oh. Mr. Rose. He got it. Game, Mr. Rose. One all. Games are one all, first set. That's a great start. Both boys in a little bit of difficulty, but coming out of it, so they should be relaxed and ready to play their best. Pass. Love 15. Rod's going to try to stay away from that ro roach forehand. Those are two blistering shots. Oh. Oh. Fifteen thirty. These fellas have almost the same exa exact game, bud. They're steady, a little more steady off the back end, more dynamic off the forehand. Equally good at the net. 30 all. Forty thirty. Forty thirty. Two one for Rod Laver. He comes out of another Love Thirty game. All right. Mr. Laver leads two games to one. First set. Roach will serve. One two. They've just begun. Out. Fifteen Love. Forehand. Fifteen all. Well, no bounce. A perplexed Rod Laver. Thirty fifteen. Roach put a lot of underslice on that backhand down the line, but the ball just rolled. It's a very tough court. Forty, fifteen. Oh. Oh. Double fall. First 40, double fall for Tony. Direction forty, thirty.
Goes that backhand. With so much top spin. Yes. Marvelous position Rod gets on that ball. He gets the weight in the right foot, steps through with it, and great follow through. Bob, Bob. If you give him time, he's going to make that nine out of ten times. And here we have a big one for the first time for Roach. Advantage, Mr. Labor. Rod Labor suffered through a couple of bad outs. Now this is the first chance that Rod will have to break serve. Forehand down the line and he got it. As so often happens, Labor pulls himself together in the crisis and given just one opportunity by his foe, he takes it. So he's up a break now, 3-1. Fifteen, love. Ball. All. Left handers handle the overheads more like badminton players. They give that reverse twist, and Rod very seldom misses one from that position. Two balls he doesn't like at all. 15, Should have had both of them. And he's down again on his serve, as he has been every time he's served. Thirty all. Thirty all. Roach looked over to a ball boy who was moving. Now he stopped. Oh! Ball. Thirty forty. You can see from that particular camera angle how good these boys are, even though it's a damp court, what sure-footed players they are. They're moving both great. Great point for Roach. Oh! Ball. Ball. Thirty all. Thirty all. The backhand volley. Right inside the line. Good. Labor escapes from a break point for the fourth time. Advantage, Mr. Labor. Boy, Rod Labor's really had his homework. He worked out because he knows exactly where Roach is hitting the ball. He hasn't moved the wrong direction once. Of course, these fellows watch each other and they get to know the percentages of which direction the boys are going to hit. Oh! Double fault. Three double faults for labor. Yes. the bottom of his shoes. Very mucky around the baseline. Out, out. Game is for Labor. 4-1 for Labor. Two balls, please. Mr. Labor leads four games to one, first set. Looks up at someone in the Gallery shows the new balls to his opponent, Rod Laver. Fifteen, 
15, love. Thirty, love. Oh, Paul. And you'll see Tony digging the court with his trailing foot. Thirty, fifteen. <laughs> Four two for labor. <laughs> labor leads four games to two, first set. Oh. Net. Let first sir second service. That's the call from Net Court Judge John Coleman. That forehand again. Love 15. Labor behind once again on serve. Coach down. Fifteen all. And now labor down. At least the court's being fair. They've both 15, taken a tumble 30. on consecutive points. That was interesting because Rod has been coming the net very nicely and handling the, the wet stuff terrific. A couple of spills like that in mid-court, he could lose his confidence as to the footing. Double fall. Here's double fall. Four for labor. 15, 40. But this is the fourth game on serve the Rod Labor's been close to losing it, but he's been tremendous in pulling out the service game. Has he had four ad points against him? Four break points, right. Well, he saves yeah. another. Still a break point. 30, 40. Nope. Left, first service. Three, Labor. Labor leads four games to three, first set. Slow motion videotape. We're going to see how treacherous this court is as Tony Roach takes a good forehand from Rod Labor. And Rod's in good position up at the net. Puts it into the backhand corner to move Tony over to this side. There goes the cross court. And now, as a good volley down the line, you can see Roach goes. And there is where the left foot out in front of him slid. And like an acrobat, he ended up on his tummy. The racket, fortunately, being tossed aside. No harm. 3-4. Tony Roach has just broken Rod Laver. Love. 
above 15. The backhand. Love 30. Neck. Ball. Gee. Flavor got it back somehow, but... 15, 30. Good acknowledgement as to the court and the dampness and how low that ball will bounce. Roach, 99 times out of 100 would have taken and driven that ball to a corner, but he elected to play the soft one. Bad bounce. Very bad bounce. Off. And this is where attitude, the fellow who's not going to let conditions get him down, is going to count today. They're going to get a lot of spills and a lot of bad bounces. Hot up. 30, 40. I know Don Budge had the had a great backhand, Frank Kovacs, Parker Rosewall, but if there's anything better than Labor's backhand, but I don't know. It's an error on that one. Dude. The great thing about it is it's deception and fantastic speed, and he gets so much overspin he can produce the big angle. Went back on him when everybody in the ballpark, including Roach, expected him to go down the line, and he can hit that slice that that hand cross court so nicely. Second break point. Another backhand. Game with Labor. All the way along the court, into the corner, and Labor will now be serving for the set. Labor made five games to three, first set. Bud, you mentioned the slice, and I've been talking overspin. Rod Lute uses the slice when he knows he just wants to keep the ball in play. He knew he had Roach beaten. He didn't want to miss. Took a much shorter stroke. Why? Love 15. Now Roach shows labor. Top spinning back. Love 30. Particularly that good fadeaway type slice return that opened up the court, bud. Beautiful shot by Roach. Ball. Very slow call by one of the finest of the linesmen, Frank Hammern. He won the McGovern Award yesterday, bud, for the best umpire of the year, I understand. That's right. Fifteen thirty. All. Rather disheartening for Tony Roach because that was truly a great lob. That would have bounced very close to both lines. And so a super smash by Labor gets him even. Oh. Oh. Goes out. 30, 40. Rod Labor, who has been behind every game, 
He served in this set. It's now down a break point. He saved five of them before succumbing. And he saves another. That's um, wide. Mr. Roach. Rod's having trouble with that backhand volley only because he knows if he doesn't put a good deep one into the forehand of Roach, he might get past. So the pressure's making him make a few errors. Net. Left. First service. Roach has the court, and now he goes behind Labor and makes the break. Rod Labor got as close as two points from that set. He does have the better of the two backhands, but Roach has been surprisingly good, very accurate on the cross-court return. We're seeing Rod Labor, I believe, going to go to some spike shoes. Uh, he apparently had a deal with Mike Gibson. I don't mean to say that in a wrong way, but he had an arrangement whereby if the court was playing a little slippery, he asked for permission to use Spike's shoes. And at the end of that game, as he moved sharply twice to the left and once to the right, losing his balance, he looked over to the marquee where Mike Gibson, who's been imported from Great Britain to be the official referee for the championships, Mike gave him the nod, and so we're gonna see Rod Laver go in some white Spike shoes very soft in leather, and they will give him a little better footing. They're made in Australia, and uh, he's been saving them for just such an occasion. Tony Roach uh, picking up the idea of the court being slippery and Labor uh, getting position, I should say, permission to use spikes. Roach apparently doesn't carry spike shoes with him, but the method in which he runs along the court indicates that he doesn't need them. On a far slipperier court the other day in a quarterfinal match against Butch Buckholtz, he was just having a time of his life out there, sort of like a, a mutter when he gets the right kind of a track. And uh, apparently he feels that he's going to be all right in the regular canvas tennis shoe. Kicked at the court there to test his spikes. Short spikes, three-eighths of an inch. Fifteen, love. Six spikes on the sole and... Two in the heel. Oh. I think the ones in Australia actually have three in the heel. They're a little different than our jumping shoe, but pick up the racket, Tony. It doesn't matter. Thirty, love. Sure hands. That Roach had been a great receiver, or maybe even a juggler. Imagine getting that racket back in action after dropping it. Oh! Ball. Another stop volley in the road. So the match is even, five all. Games are five all, first set. But a big thing here now that Labor's got the spikes on, can he serve with them? Because he's a toe dragger and he's going to have to lift that foot instead of dragging it. Oh, oh. And sometimes this bit of change in the equipment does cause a server to lose his rhythm. Love 15. Believe me, this is important because in 1958, Alex Olmedo won the Davis Cup for the United States. And it was really as much the, the problem was that Anderson and Cooper, the Australians, couldn't serve with spikes, and Alex could. Now, Love 30, and Laver maintains the uh, tradition 30. of this match for him, going right down behind on his serve.
Love 40. Love 40. Well, he's come out of a couple of love 30s. He's come out of 15 40s. But here's love 40. Three break points waiting for Tony Roach. Out. Now two. 15 40. Tony Roach will be serving for the set. Roach leads six games to five, first set. So Rod Laver had his shot at the first set at 5-3. Roach wouldn't permit it. Now Tony Roach has his at 6-5. Not fault. Starts with fault. a double fault. Call from Herb Love Lewis. 15. On the line. Second double fault for Roach. A few of the disapproving whistles from around the stadium. was ready that time for the cross court backhand. 15 all. Beautiful volley by Labor. He had to intercept that ball. 15 30. He landed in the corner and he did it. Got the winner now 15 30. Thirty all. Thirty all. You saw the value of the track shoes or the spikes we've been talking about with labor because he was going the other direction. He stopped like on a dime and turned around. He hacked at it and made the shot off the wood, very high on the racket. The ball went over the net with a lot. Nothing on it, but it didn't have top spin. It was just hit. 30, 40. Hit so high on the racket, it had no pace, and it turned into a lob placement. <laughs> Point for the break. Labor says sometimes you've got to hack at the ball and just club it over anyway. That time he did. And it was one of the biggest points of this match. Down the line. Broken him back. Two balls, please. Six all. And Tony Roach came as close as two points from the set. Games are six all, first set. The trouble with breaking labor is you arouse him. <laughs> and he dips it over. Fifteen love. Thirty, love. Call is what? They're looking at Frank Hammond. What is the call? Love. The call was it was good. Forty love. A few more of the Forest Hills sparrows chirping. Frank Hammond has the best seat in the house. He's right on that line. Now that won't come back, and Laver will have 7 6. Mr. Laver leads 7 games to 6, first set.
Tony Roach now is serving the possible set game. Two games ago, he was serving for the set. Now he must continue to hold serve to stay in the set. Net. Let first service. Roach serving to Rod Laver for the U.S. Open Championship. Ball. Ball. On the line. Love 15. Oh. Ball. That was a bad call. And Frank very seldom makes one, but Rod, as you can see, looking over. Frank, like a ship's figurehead, hanging out over the court. Well, Tony. Love 30. I don't know what you do about that shot. Well, Tony's upset now with Frank because he felt that a couple of games ago, Frank didn't call one on Labor's serve, and now he called one against him. Oh. It's tough on a player if they feel a linesman is making a mistake. They lose confidence in that man. But it sure won't happen here today. But do uh, you know that if a fellow does make a couple of bad calls, the player has the prerogative of asking the linesman to be removed. I'm certain this won't happen. 30 all. Uh, 30 all. Game seven, seven all. all. Games are seven all, first set. And Roach came out from Love Thirty. Five double faults. For Love Labor. 15. So he's behind on serve again. I knew that last game he served was atypical. Down Love 30. No. No. Love 30. The philosophy on the volley of Labor is a little different than Roach's. He goes for a winner practically on any ball that's up anywhere. Oh, beauty. There's that forehand again that Roach has been so vicious with. Two more break points for Tony Roach. He's had a ton of them in this set. Top spin line. Be good. Right on. Great get by Rod. Game of the road. Rod Laver. Way down Roach again. Leads. And Roach Eight will be serving for the set. set. Roach serving far court to Rod Laver. Out. Missed it. 15 love. Sky turning purple. Does not look good here. That's out. out. 30 love. 30 love. 
Tony Roach now closing in on this first set. Forty love. Forty love. Both men have had their chances, but this is the biggest for Roach. Well, Labor saves one. A set point. 40-15. Rod Laver made it evaporate with a forehand. Still set point. Net. Ball. Ready to go, second set, labor serving. Oh. Oh. 47 mix, 47 minutes, I should say, but a tremendous tennis. Both boys playing great. Rose just a little bit of the edge. Oh. Out. 15, love. That beautiful backhand. 15 all. Forehand, time and time again, Jack. Well, 30 all. Tony's returning the backhand extra well and putting Rod in difficulty to make a good volley, but that forehand is devastating, so Rod really has a problem of which way to serve to get the result. Maybe it right at him. Oh. Ball. Roach has hit three winners in this game. 30, 40. Laver cannot serve with comfort. He's only had one game and he's won easily in the entire match. Deuce. so used to Roach returning and returning well that when you see him make an air, you're sort of stunned. He really has his game at high level. Advantage, Mr. Labor. And Rodney just laboring a little bit on his serve, and I'm certain it's because he's not used to using these spike shoes. He's not as comfortable. He can drag that back foot. Missed it. There's the first game of the second set to Labor. Labor wins the first game of the second set. Tony Roach is the server near court to Rod Labor. Fifteen, love. 
15, all. Wide. 30, 15. Kelly misses one, and that's unusual for Tony. 30, all. Been playing so strongly, had the easy volley. It's going to be a beauty. Everything was going on that shot. He decided he'd let it rip and it got in there past leg. First service. Net. Let. First service. Double fault. Third for Tony. Manage, Mr. Labor. Break point. Lunging, and he couldn't come up with the last one. Two games to none for Labor. Labor leads two games to love, second set. Good play by Rod Labor, who's stepping up, he's hitting. That's what we've noticed through the years that Labor is one champion that when he gets behind and he's been hitting hard, he simply starts hitting harder until they start going in. Most people will try control to try to get back into a match, but Rod goes the other way. He's all power. 15, love. From his system, Labor easy lead. one, but Three he wins it love. at love. Second set. Tony Roach, the far court. He's the server. Finally, love 15. Hit backhand.
15 ohm. Matt. Russell paid off for Laver. He ran down that ball, put up the lob. 15, the interesting thing is that lob was right into the forehand side or the correct smashing side for Tony Roach. They hit the ball better when it's back over their shoulder. Rod's the same way. Good. On the line. 15, 40. Here's one Rod Laver really wants. And get up two breaks right here. And he does. Here's the lady. The labor leads four games to love, second set. Rod Laver now, four games to none. It's the longest streak for anyone in this match. 15, love. 30, love. Ace, second one. <laughs> 40, love. Five straight games for Labor. Mr. Labor leads five games to love, second set. Very important for Tony Roach because he's us using rubber tennis sneakers. His opponent, Labor, who's waiting return serve using spikes. A wet court will really hurt Tony Roach. 15, love. Waver. Kangaroo on his breast. Ball! Ball. Double fall. Double fall. Tony Roach really 15, protesting, ball. really protesting against the decisions here. And he's approaching Mike Dunn with the idea of perhaps, I don't know whether he'd do it, but perhaps suggesting at least to replace one of the very, very best service line callers that we've ever had in the game. Thing like this is all mental, but Tony's convinced that this particular linesman can't see, so it's going to bother him. Out. 40, 15. Forty, thirty. 40, 30. The only important thing about this game is that Roach would like to really hold it so that he might start serving the third set. The Labor has the same idea. Right, he'd love to win it. Keep the win streak going. He's won five games in a row. Tony Roach has won two big sets in this tournament, six love. Roach. Matter of fact, Roach is an outstanding fourth set player. We proved that yesterday against John Newcomen, and he's down two oh. sets to one. Oh. So Tony has come out.
come up with a stopper, but he's still way behind, and Rod Laver will be serving for the second set. five games to one, second set. Rod Laver. Fifteen, love. Tony looked puzzled on that. He swung at the ball and nothing much happened. Well, the ball didn't come through. It was hit hard and it hit something there on the court and just stopped and hung up in midair. Sort of laughed at Tony. Laver's serving better, and Tony's not returning as well. No, Tony's let down. That's understandable. He doesn't feel he can win the set, so it's not going to break his heart. He'd still have to break another serve, but if he, he won this one, and he feels it'd be better to break one early in the third set. Forty, love. Well, here's the point to get even. Laver has won 13 straight points. Points on serve. And this match okay, is even. Right. Rod Laver. Laver wins six games to Going one. for the Grand Slam. One Feels ball. a lot better now, having lost the first set. He's even. Set a piece. To serve to Rod Laver. Fast set for Rod Laver. Only 20 minutes as we start the third set of this best of five set match. Uh, 15 love. Now Tony Roach, the only man in tennis with an edge on Rod Laver. 6 3. He's ahead as professionals. They played once as amateurs, that's seven years ago, and Labor won that. As you can see from the umbrellas, also Mike Gibson, the official referee, is uh, coming fairly close to the playing surface. There might be a decision to suspend play here. Rope. That's Mike There's Gibson Mike. from Great Britain, the man who controls the event at Wimbledon, also the Open in South Africa, and who has turned in a great job here at Forest Hills. Good thing he's got a mustache to make that off they go. Stay That's stiff the sign. Off they go. He's had so much trouble, and he says, let's go inside and wait for a while. So play is suspended. Both boys in the first game, after the first game of the third set. And it's a set of piece. Roach has won the first game, third set. For 30 minutes, with that rain delay, it's Love won in the third set. The match is even. 15, Love. Roach held serve to open the third set. Then the rain came down, second rain of the afternoon, the first time it's interrupted the match. They went off for 30 minutes. Labor. Good volley. 30, love. Off. Off. Well, Labor had won 16 30, straight 15. points on his serve. seem to have affected Roach's return. Still good, sharp, coming in very low. 
two half volleys that Rod Lavers had trouble with. Big game for both boys. 30. Very close call. First game after delay is always a really difficult thing for both players. More for the server. Net. Ball. Deuce. And that was a let ball off the forehand. Deuce. Tony Rhodes playing him very close to that net. Net. Left. First service. That's the difference. On the serve, you play it over. On the return, it's good. Off. Off. Deuce again. Deuce. Both boys have had their share of luck as Tony Roach hits that one a little high in the racket. Sharply angled, but the ball always falls dead. Labor repairing his side of the court. And Mr. Labor. Game One all. Second set. Third set. Excuse Games me. Games are one all. Third set. Tony Roach. Fifteen love. Missed. Just drifted out. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. One of the few that Roach has put into the forehand of labor, and he pays the price. Good return. Thirty all. Great get. I don't know whether it's going to stay in. Yep. Oh my gosh! The labor made it. Great, great overhead. Thirty forty. So he has the break point against Roach. Deuce. Deuce. All right. Up. Advantage, Mr. Labor. Just waiting for the ball boy to be called over. There you see his feet. Good serve by Roach down the middle. Deuce again. Deuce. Get it up, says Laver. Advantage, Mr. Roach. To himself. He did. Boy. Deuce. And Deuce. Third time. Ball. Ball. 
It's deep. Nor whistles. Frank Hammond's catching a lot of them today. That was clearly long. Advantage, Mr. Labor. And a break point. The area around the baseline now is becoming a ravine. As players dig in. Actually, those are the spikes of Rod Laver as he's going back and forth. The court's a little more wet, and uh, Rodney's asking for somebody to be a little quiet. Missed. It's out. Jack Starr makes the call on the baseline. Roach misses the overhead and is broken, and Laver leads 2-1, third set. Laver leads two games to one, third set. New balls, please. We're going to see one of the really fine overheads that we've seen in the tournament. As here comes Tony Roach into the net behind his serve. Rod Laver's backhand goes at a good angle. And here's a fine reach by Tony, but there's Rodney waiting for a soft one. And he hits it beautifully over in the corner. Doesn't look like Roach can possibly get it, but just at the last instant, he throws it up. Now let's watch the position as Rod goes back. Most people would drop this. He elects to hit it in the air. You can imagine where it was going to land, right on the line, and he drills it to the opposite side, landing once again on the line for the winning shot. Rod Laver may feel the momentum moving towards him. It seems that way. Roach, after winning the first set 9-7, has not offered as much opposition. Now Laver retying his shoestrings. As they're asking for a little quiet from the area where the umpires and linesmen uh, handle all their various duties here at Forest Hills, there's Tony Roach, uh, one of the sweetest guys in the world, looking very irate over there. New balls are changing five and seven today. Labor serving. Out. Out. Should explain. Fifteen love. Five and seven means that the first five games of play, they change once, and from then on, every seven games. Love. The only difference in equipment between these two fine lefties is the fact that Tony's wearing traditional tennis shoes. Rod Laver, in case you join us late, has donned some spike shoes. There you see him. Great shot. Thirty fifteen. Couldn't do it that time. 40-15. 40-15. There's no doubt about it, bud. Labor in his spikes has greater mobility than uh, Tony Roach. Oh. Oh. Out. Out. Game for Labor. 3-1 for Rod Labor. Roach will serve. Labor leads three games to one, third set. Fifteen, love. Net! Ball. Sitting up there for him, and he netted it. Fifteen all. A lot of underspin on it. Funny thing, uh, Roach has missed more easy balls than he has the difficult ones, the low, fast ones. He plays them off the shoe tops very nicely, and he's missed about six of the supposedly floaters. Must just take his eye off of them.
15.30. Of course, this is very dangerous. He's already behind a service break. He can't lose another one. This set perhaps would be gone. Laver, with his great speed, came up to take position away from Roach. Tried that's, to volley it on the run, but couldn't make it. That's an Aussie trademark. The Australians like to hit a good return. If they sense it's going to be low, they follow it in and try to intercept. Forty-thirty. There's the game for Tony Roach. So Labor still has his edge with a service Labor break. 3 2 in the fourth. Two, Thir third, third, excuse yeah. me. Rod Labor, far court, serving to Roach. Fifteen, love. Thirty, love. That's out. Labor 4-2, and he's been winning his serve a lot easier, Jack. Jack. Labor leads four games to two, third set. Except for a couple of good returns there early in the second service game of Rod Labor. Actually, the return of serve from Roach has gone well down before, before par, I should say. He was returning much better before this break for rain. Great lob. Love 15. A lot of people feel that was out, but you could tell the minute Rod hit it, it was going to have the right direction and length. Oh. Oh. It's just a whistling day out here. <laughs> the musical gallery. Out. Love 30. Tony Roach has been groping ever since he won the first set. Now down 2 4, he's down love 30. 15 30. 15 30. Fifteen forty. Fifteen forty. 15 40. A little of the edges come off of Roach's game. He had it so high, winning that first one 9 7. He might have let up just a little bit for a 6-1 loss, but now he's just definitely missing. He's concentrating, he's trying, but he just doesn't have the touch right now. Laver flies in for the volley. He makes the break. And he'll be serving for the third set. Laver leads five games to two, third set. Watch a little videotape slow motion of Roach's serve. And the reason he gets such great power is you watch the great movement of the body. All the weight goes to the back foot. As the racket starts down, his body starts forward. It's a long backswing. He bends his back. He really arches it. And you can see the snap of that wrist, just like Drysdale throwing a baseball. Long follow through down the left side of his body. And he's off and running. Beautiful motion. He... He copied that from Neil Fraser, one of his boyhood he heroes who won here in 49. Now he's in position to show us, I think, Laver serving now for the third set to give himself 2-1 lead. Starts with the ace. His fourth.
38. Ace fifth. Uh, Seems interested in winning this game. <laughs> I didn't know where Tony Roach was going to hit that ball, but Rod Laver sure did. He did indeed. And, but it came so quick, so much spin, he volleyed it into the net. Now Tony Roach got a bad hop on the serve, and his lunging return 30 all. was better than it might have been had he got a good bounce. Laver lets it go. Wisely. 40, set point. 30. Oh. The set. And third set for Mr. Laver. For Laver, 6-2. So, after losing the first set, he's won 12 out of 15 games. Mr. Laver wins the third set, six games to two, and leads in the match two sets to one. And for the first time in the many good five-setters at the U.S. Open, 1969, we're not going to have the traditional 10-minute rest. Here they go, Roach serving. And Laver returning, and it's a beauty. Love 15. Just wide. And this is the danger 15 all. period for Roach as Laver, when he gets on top of a, a fella, he's won two easy sets. He's in full stride now. He'll be hitting, hitting and swinging from the heels, so Tony must play good games, right? Left. Left. Second service. Twice before this year, Roach has won four set matches from Labor, but he can't do it now. He'll need five if he's going to win. Tony, you better keep running. No, it's out. Uh, Thirty fifteen. Net. Down the line, into the corner. Thirty all. And this is the real danger spot for Roach because Laver becomes very vicious right now. Forty thirty. Tremendous interception by Roach. Underspin. Still keeping it going. And wins it. That's oh, out. It. That could be a bad one. Roach had an easy forehand volley, played it to Rod, and then missed a fairly easy overhead. That's what Laver means when he says you got to hack a little too in this game. And he just goes after everything now. Hard to believe how hungry he can be in a spot like this. All over the court. And Laver gets what he's looking for, that great point. Believe me, Bud Collins. Advantage, Mr. Labor. Give those spike shoes the credit for that point because Rod Labor covered a lot of shots that he had tennis shoes on he would not have gotten to. Good serve. Dennis.
Net. Let it. Second service. Lion. Advantage, Mr. Labor. Once again, Laver squeezes Roach into that corner. Break point. The forehand, and he's broken. Okay. Mr. Labor wins the first game, the fourth set. We have some videotape coming of an excellent rally here as the first serve into the backhand of Labor, a let ball, which Tony plays off the backhand back into the backhand of Labor. And on the preceding point, we saw Roach had missed an overhead, so smart. Labor decided to lob again, a good smash this time, but those spike shoes help Rod get over to it. And here's a good shot down the line of the backhand, which Rod can now come to the net off of a deep approach and produce an air from Tony Roach. One of the big points that helped Rod Laver now ahead two sets to one. Roach has had one shot at him along the way before in the semifinals of the Australian Championship in which Laver won 6-3 in the fifth. <laughs> Wonderful forehand of Laver. 15, love. Well, the champ's in full cry now. Everything's going his way, and normally when he gets a fella in this position, it's all over. It might take a little time, but it sure looks like Rod from here. Roach on that one. 15, all. Labor coming into this match with a streak of 29 straight match wins. Hasn't been beaten since June. Thirty fifteen. It's won four straight games in this streak. Touch and a point. 40, 15. The way Rod's moving in those spikes, he's shrunk that court up to like it's a ping pong table. He can reach anything. Half volley. Out. That's out. Hit it on the wood. 40, 30. But once again, Rod was right there. He's anticipating everything. Not. Let it. First service. Oh. Oh. That overhead again Thank from you. a very awkward angle. You go, please. Labor leads, two games to love. Five straight seven. games for Rod Labor. Now he's playing extremely well. The changing balls now, and boy, it was about time. This is the seventh game, of course, and I imagine it's just as hard for the players to see as perhaps all of us here. There's so much grass and dirt stains on the balls in that last game of the change that it's practically impossible, and I imagine the weight is difficult for the players, too. New balls, Roach serving. Tony Roach hasn't won a game for a long time. He's got to start moving. 15, love. a shot rocketed at Labor, but Labor is the rocket, and he smashed it back.
1530s. Really amazing. We've seen this many times, bud. When the rocket gets on top of you, boy, he, he just puts you away. He wants more, more, more. Count. 30 all. Thirty forty point, a break point, and Roach 30, 40. knows he must not lose this point. Well, the pressure's getting so difficult that Tony's starting to make errors that, that he hadn't made early in the match when he was holding Rod, in fact, leading him. Good serve. Rod motions to a couple Good. of people who were in his line of vision standing behind the court. They're below our booth, so I don't know who they were. They're out of the way now. Good. Oh, nope. It's out. Gus Lana says it was a fraction out. Very close. Advantage, Mr. Roach. That's of great comfort to Tony Roach. Game and he Roach. wins the game, an important one for Roach. One, two. Labor leads two games to one, fourth set. Let's have some more videotape of uh, another one of many, many great rallies as Roach serves, comes in on the backhand. He has to change directions, gets the volley down the line as just before it drops, Rod gets a good shot. Now watch this smash and watch the Labor return. Bang! Just inside the line. I'm sure it will take a cloud burst, though, to push them off the court this time. Well, Roach would probably like a rest at this time. The last time it hurt him. This time it might help him. Can't hurt him now. Out. Fifteen, love. As labor presses on. Ball. He missed it. Just wide. Says James Westfall on the line. Uh, 30, love. But both these fellas really should be commended for the importance of what they're doing on that serve. They're hitting that second one so deep, it's impossible to get in too close on it. That will go out. Uh, uh, 40, love. Forty fifteen. Forty fifteen. But Laver is not letting Roach into the service games anymore. For a long while, Rod was behind every time he served. Oh. Of course, that was when Tony Roach was returning every ball and with good authority, low angles. That's out. 40-30. Here's a shot 40, for Roach 30. right here. What oh, labor allows no more than a look at that 40-30 point. Then he wins the game for 3-1. Three, three games to one. Fourth set. Well, Tony's broken four serves of rods, but they've all been in the first set. He hasn't broken a serve since the 15th game of the match. Rods compiled eight service breaks in all. That will go uh, out. Uh, love 15. Rod Laver pushed to five sets only once in this tournament by Dennis Ralston. Love 30. In the four Grand Slam tournaments, he's gone five sets a total of four times. Five times, excuse me.
1540. Well, you can almost say goodbye to Tony's chances if he loses one of the next two points. Two points for the break. Oh. This is that one. Laver has the forehand. It goes by Tony Roach. And that could be just about the match. As Laver will serve with a 4 1 lead. The Laver leads fourth four set. games to one, fourth set. He leads in the match two sets to one. Rod Laver serving. Net. Far court. Fault. Fault on the first serve. He has a 4 1 lead. Placing a power with an umbrella on that one, but it shows you that Rod Laver's going to get everything. Bent over and swung two hands. Fifteen all. Net. Ball. Well, 15, 30. an infrequent error off the overhead of Laver gives a little bit of hope here for Tony Roach. He hasn't broken a serve in many, many games. He needs to break two to level here in the fourth set. Nope. 30 all. Tony's very discouraged now. Started off so well. Oh. Roach is hanging by his toenails now. But I'd like to comment, you said about the 62 Grand Slam, which is a great feat, but the 69 Grand Slam is a much greater feat because all the great pros are in here fighting him as well as the top amateurs. Back in 62, Hode, Gonzalez, Trabert, Sedgman, some of those boys weren't playing. They're all in the tournaments now. Great shot. Backhand rolls past him, and Rod Laver rolls on towards the slam, towards the title, towards the $16,000 check, which will put him over $100,000 in earnings this year in prize money. That's the highest in prize money ever, Jack. 15 all. That's right. Today, it's all right out there for prize money. In the old days, though, a fellow named Lou Hode, he picked up over $140,000 one year, but he was playing... Mainly exhibitions. Taking a piece of the gate. Right, that's the difference. 30, 15. This is the way it should be. Let the best player take it. Reputations mean nothing. Oh. 40, 15. Now, Tony Roach trying to build some kind of streak if he can. Hold his serve and go at Lavers in match game. Game so it will be Rod Laver to serve for everything. 5-2.
Mr. Labor leads five games to two, fourth set. Here goes Rod Laver trying to close the ring on the slam. Hit. Ball. He leads 7 9, 6 1, 6 2, 5 2. And he has one point, needs three. 15 love. Thinking about so many things, trying not to think about his wife in Newport Beach, California, about to have a baby at any moment. That's been on his mind, praying on his mind. Hey. Sixth ace. And put away. He's on the verge. Not yet. Just watching 40, Rod 15. as he's doing this great thing here, but he doesn't uh, win the matches by people playing badly. He wins it by beating him right into the ground. He makes always many more placements than ends. Net. Left. First service. Been down two sets to love a couple of times this year during the slam tournaments. Dick Creeley, Prem Lal, but he came out. He's come out of everything. Roach tried to make the shot. Roach is down and every second is the loser. Later. And Rod Lieber has won it. He's the slammer. The grand slammer and Jack Kramer next to me applauding. We gotta do it. We gotta clap it is for the grand slam and it's undoubtedly the finest achievement in the history of this game, which is one of our oldest sports in America. It goes way back to 1881 when Dick Sears went down from Boston to Newport to win the first American championship. It was a very young sport then, very narrow boundaries. Now it's the sport for every country in the world, for the young men of the United States and every other country. And Rod Laver is the king. 7-9, 6-1, 6-2, 6-2. And while Tony Roach, who has relatively been left alone in his thoughts and so forth, he's going to play some doubles later on the day in the Open. The match was closer for many, many games than we saw here late because Roach made a real fight of it. He won that first set 9-7, but from then on, Rod Laver became, as usual, irresistible. So Rod Laver is the Grand Slam champion, the winner of $16,000 first prize, the winner of his second U.S. championship. He's won them all. 7-9-6-1-6-2-6-2. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mr. Owen Williams, tournament director. You're undoubtedly... undoubtedly the best player in the entire world, and you might very well be the best player we've ever seen. <laughs> I think Rod Labor would be interested in knowing that he receives the check for $16,000, the first prize. Now, I think you'd all like to hear a few words from our new champion, Rod Laver. Thank you, Mr. Martin, Mr. Coleman, uh, Mr. Williams, and ladies and gentlemen. It certainly is a, a great pleasure and to be standing here. I'm, I'm the one that's tongue-tied, but it's a great thrill to be standing here having won this last championship. And all I can say is that it's, I'm the luckiest fellow here in the stadium. And to everyone that came and put up with the bad conditions through this tournament, thank you very much. But, uh, I don't think Tony was at his best today. He had a very tough match yesterday, and I think possibly uh, a, little, a few small injuries uh, stops from playing their best tennis. But I'm very pleased and very excited about this victory. Thank you.
Thank you, Ron. Uh, thank you, Joe Coleman. And uh, now if uh, Tony Roach would please come up. I got a little something for him. <laughs> Tony, I want to congratulate you playing the world's greatest player. You put up a tremendous match. Uh, I, I apologize for the underfooting out here, but uh, we turned the weather over to a man who wasn't quite expert enough to handle it this year, and uh, we're going to try to do better next year. I have a little pocket money for you here in the amount of $8,000, and I also have a little bill clip for you to keep your pocket money in. Please don't lose it before you get home. Tony, if you'd say a few words, I'm sure everybody would like to hear from you. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Rod on winning his second Grand Slam. He's a great player and he s s certainly deserves it. I'd also like to thank the tournament organizers and the referee for staging a wonderful tournament. They had a lot, the weather was against them and uh, this put us a little bit behind, but they've done a wonderful job. And I'd just like to take this opportunity here to wish Rod, who I'm sure is, uh, his, his wife is expecting a baby any minute, and I think that $16,000 ought to hurry things along. <laughs> and uh, I'd just like to wish them both the very best of luck in, in the future. Thank you.